Hi, my name is Lisa Hogan. I'm the technology integrator for MSAD 75 and I work in the middle school and the high school. And I've created this short video for you to watch so that you will know how to use the Web History Viewer which is loaded onto the MLTI devices. The Web History Viewer will uh, provide you with a look at the websites your child is using and the amount of time that your child is spending online. To find the Web History Viewer, you need to find the Macintosh hard drive icon. On this particular laptop, it is located up here in the top right hand corner. It might be someplace else on the desktop, but it will look like this and it will say Macintosh hard drive. You're going to need to open that. It's a simple double click. Once it's opened, you're going to need to find the Applications folder. It's right here and there's an arrow next to it. When you click this arrow, it's going to drop down a list of all of the applications on the laptop. Then, go to the right side of that window, grab the scroll bar, and scroll all the way to the bottom of this window. And you'll see another folder at the very bottom called Web History Viewer. Again, there's a triangle here. Click the triangle and scroll down just a little bit more and you will see Web History Viewer. Go ahead and double click on that. This will take a few minutes to open because it will have been collecting data since the very moment that your child went online. Um, so there's a lot of records in here. You'll just need to be patient. The Web History Viewer cannot be deleted or changed. It might look like it can be deleted, but once you open it up again, the history is still there. So it cannot be deleted by a student. Um, it does take a while to open, as you can see here. And the other thing you need to be aware of is that it, the Web History Viewer updates every 15 minutes. Um, and it does this so that we don't have an enormous file. And as you can see, it's already pretty big right now in the length of time that it's opening. So we'll give this just a few more minutes to open up. And here it is. And you can see that it is arranged and time stamped. So here are today's entries onto the internet. And it's all time stamped and dated. It tells me the title of the page. And in some cases, it doesn't give me the title of the page because what might have been happening in the background is there was a pop-up ad that was appearing um, and that that's what this entry here could have been um, but it wasn't necessarily a site that they went out to. Here is the URL or the ad web address that the student was visiting so if you wanted to check that site out you could capture that and go look at it um, with your child to see if it were an appropriate site for them to be using. When you're done viewing the web history you can come up to the top menu bar where it says View Web History Viewer and say Quit Web History Viewer. And it will close it up and it will put it away. That's how you and your child can evaluate how much time your student is spending online, when they're spending that time online, and the type of sites that they are viewing.